Well, good morning. I'm Jack Phillips, the uh, CEO of IIA, and I want to welcome all of you to our spring symposium, the first of two this year, and the beautiful VMware campus. Um, I, I, this is, we're honored to be able to hold our uh, symposium here, and right off the bat, I want to say a, a big thank you to Parag and the team at VMware. Parag, will you put your hand up so everybody, okay? Um, As you've probably seen from the program, uh, Sanjay Poonin is going to address us around 11 o'clock today, uh, but we're really thrilled to be able to hold this event in the center of Silicon Valley here at VMware. Uh, we'll, as I mentioned, we'll do two of these a year, one in October in Chicago, which I'll talk about, um, but really, really thrilled to be here. So it's great to see everybody. And for my team to pull this off on Pi Day is unbelievable, right? Because... <laughs> Because we knew that would be important to this audience, and so you know we did every, everything we could uh, to do that. At IAA, we spend every minute of every day uh, thinking about and defining what high performance in the world of analytics looks like. Right? How do all of you determine, you know, among all of our research clients, you're all committed to competing, but what defines high performance? And you know, the days of thinking about whether to compete on analytics and data are over. You know, the, this is the 10th anniversary of Tom Davenport's seminal competing on analytics. But we're not talking about whether to compete. We're, not, we're now talking about how to compete. What are the performance standards that separate the winners from the losers? And that's why all of you uh, are in the room today. So if you haven't been paying attention to the world of running, uh, of high performance running, there's actually a, an arms war going on here. There's an arms war going on here. So um, two important runners in the photo that you have in front of you. Uh, Eliud Kipchoge of Chev Kenya uh, in the middle there, and our own Galen Rupp on the left. This is the 2016 Olympic marathon. These two folks were wearing Nike shoes. I'll talk about that in a second. Nike is a research client of IAAs. They placed first and third, first and third. The elusive goal that these runners and the companies that support them are chasing is this two-hour marathon. It's this two-hour marathon time. Currently, the world record is just under two hours and three minutes. And in a world where everything is measured, everything is recorded, leave it to the New York Times to now predict when we will actually hit that elusive two-hour goal. So what you see on the vertical axis is marathon times. On the horizontal axis is time. And this should all look very familiar to all of you. right? All of those data, those are world-class performance times. And you can see the world records. So these companies, Adidas, Nike, Under Armour, others, are obviously eyeing this elusive goal, as are all of these world-class athletes. And this idea of performance is virtually in every sport. Right? When Oscar Pistorius decided to compete in the way he did, that caused a lot of folks to wonder whether he was gaining some kind of an advantage. In swimming, big debate about the buoyancy of the suits that folks are wearing. Right? And who would have thought, you know, you wonder what Borg and McEnroe might have done in their era if they had the kind of tools that Roger Federer has at his disposal at his age. And this got us thinking a little bit about the concept of what I might call, and the New York Times called earlier last week, unfair advantage. Unfair advantage. And I mean that in a very positive sense. Because all of you are understanding that, as you sit today, the concepts of data and analytics are giving your firms an unfair advantage. Not in an illegal way, 
right? The powers that be in track and field are now questioning whether this brand new Nike shoe is actually legal. Because in fact, the technology helps the runner move a little forward. And so the governing bodies are trying to decide what's fair and what's over the line. But in this world of data and analytics, right, every advantage you can get, I would argue, is fair. And that's why you're in this room. And so you know, it got me thinking a little bit about how does IIA give all of you an unfair advantage? And I think we're doing it every day. Right? We're setting a set of performance standards to make all of your programs better off at the individual level, the individual level, the data scientist, the analyst level, the model level. At the team level, we're helping all of you think about how do we get our teams to work better together? And then finally, of course, at the enterprise level. And to us, that's really where the rubber hits the road, right? which is how do your firms gain measurable advantage, market share, stock price, uh, you know, uh, 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 market cap increases, whether you're public or private. That's really where this is starting to make a difference in enterprises. And so that brings us then to Silicon Valley. That brings us to the role of technology right, in your worlds, the role of the tools that can help you gain an unfair advantage against your competitors. And that's why we're here. That's why we're in Silicon Valley today. Enterprise value, we believe, is ultimately going to be driven, obviously, by data and analytics. And we are pursuing a mission that essentially says, you will be comparing your progress against your peer group. And so I would argue that we now have the world-leading database on analytics maturity scores. So if you haven't been paying attention to the work we're doing, I would argue you should. Horizontal axis, industries. Vertical axis, our traditional one to five, five stages of analytics maturity. These are industry indexes obviously, that you can use to measure where you stand in your industry and can measure progress over time. And Chris, you and I were talking at, at, at Cleveland Clinic last night. Most importantly, what are people doing outside my industry? So it's no surprise that our top scoring organization is the leading digital native in the world, Amazon. right? But even they aren't satisfied yet. They're not standing still. So if you haven't read the research about this, if you haven't actually tried to figure out where do we stand on this, you need to. You need to. Because IIA is your performance barometer. Right? So we've been very busy uh, getting ready for this fantastic event. What I'd ask for you to do, I'm going to introduce Paul Ballou in a second. Open up your packets if you could. And I just want to draw your attention to a couple of important pieces. Right off the bat, I mentioned October 12th. In Chicago at the Gleacher Center is our fall symposium. Save the date, put that on your calendar, it's going to be a great event. Next piece I want to draw your attention to is the agenda. We'll quickly go through, uh, quickly go through the agenda. We have three keynote presentations, two panel discussions, two interactive topic discussions, and three networking breaks, including lunch. We're efficient at IAA. We want to pack a lot in to a day, all right? So take a look at the agenda uh, and, and, and just get yourself familiar with what, we were, what we'll be doing uh, throughout the day today. There is a delegate roster that's just behind the agenda. Okay. So obviously a huge theme here is networking and getting to know folks. We have a lot of breaks built in. This is a confidential document, however. Right? So this is a document that should stay among the community. And near the attendance sheet is something we call our, our confidentiality agreement. It's a non-signature binding agreement. And the message simply is what's, what's said in symposium stays in symposium. Right? What's said in symposium stays in symposium. So take a look at that. Um, and then finally, there is a piece I, we mentioned. Uh, we're really thrilled to have Data Robot as one of our underwriters. David Russell, you and the team are here. right? Um, so I introduced them at dinner last night. There's a quick piece uh, about DataRobot. Again, one company that we're 
looking at, uh, used to be a, a, a not so well-known company and I think is more and more uh, well-known as we go here, as we go forward here. So I've got another, before we kick off the symposium, right? another huge announcement that I'm thrilled to uh, announce this morning. And that is that Bill Franks, who many of you know uh, as the Chief Analytics Officer at Teradata, as an IA faculty member, is joining IAA as of May 1st as a full-time Chief Analytics Officer and Director of Research. Bill, make sure everybody knows where you are. So make it a point to go and introduce yourself to Bill, okay? Hand him your card. Um, it, it's important, again, to sort of get to know all of our faculty leaders. Bob Morrison is here with us. Robin Way is here with us. Again, look at your delegate uh, roster, and you'll get a sense for all the faculty members that are here. Um, but we're thrilled to have, uh, to have Bill join us. Dan Magestro ha has moved on to other things. Many of you have known Dan. Great service to IIA. So at the end of March, he'll move on to, to other endeavors in, uh, in Columbus. Okay. All right. Um, Let's see, I think I have, okay, a couple of just uh, logistical items and kind of rules of the road. The wireless network, we hope is, it is, Sarah tells me from the back. It was down for a minute, but it's now back up. So across your tables, you should find a, a, a piece of paper with a blue border on top that looks like this, because I know you're probably all needing that. That's there. Um, I mentioned that this is a confidential environment. You're not going to see any press or media here. All right? There's not a huge vendor presence here. Uh, and this is an opportunity really for, we're not asking for anybody to, to share proprietary confidential details here, but to really work with your peers and work with our speakers today to get your questions answered, to get your challenges answered here. Um, we often have a rule, you have to give to get. Right? So we've created a room here in an environment with tent cards, Feel free to raise your hand. Feel free to say, you know, uh, uh, I disagree. Uh, we respect the community here. We've got confidentiality. I expect this could get a little charged. Bob's laughing because sometimes it does get controversial, but that's what we want at IAA. That's what we want at our symposium. Um, so, but enjoy the time. Enjoy the time, right? We've, we think we've designed a fantastic agenda for you, so it's going to be a good, compact day. 